Hey guys, welcome to another Electric Insight and Gadget Review Show and today I'm going to show you an update to my DIY cushion suspension for my Kingston 16S pedals. As you can see from here, I've added some silicone uh, sealant. As you can see, it's uh, totally filled up. It's, it doesn't look very nice right now, but when you ride it, it's very very smooth. Uh, this is the silicone sealant black in color. Uh, you can choose any other color if you want. You can choose clear, but I choose black because uh, it does not look very, um, I would say, very different color from the pedals. So make sure that the Manex for the the magnetic pedals, uh, the Manex does not interfere with the the holes. Uh, there's a little uh, grid pattern over here. Make sure it's not over the the metal part so that it will not. Uh, prevent the, the, the top part from compressing into the silicon sealant because once it's compressed it does have the cushion feel it's very rubbery very tough so how you're going to put it in i can showcase how you do it right now by pressing a little bit of the silicon sealant you can see the ah, yeah there you go this is silicon sealant it's black in color and you can put a little bit of silicon sealant uh, over the place where you want to just make sure uh, well it is even so once you're done uh, simply press on this button to release the pressure and put safely on a piece of paper and try to grab a piece of uh, uh, anything to smooth out the silicon sealant just simply just drag across and flatten it okay just drag across and flatten it Make sure the screw hole is not covered. So uh, you got a very nice layer of silicone sealant uh, right across the underbelly of the pedals. And once you've done that, uh, you can leave it to dry overnight. And it will be a tough rubber uh, material after it's fully dry. Um, you you can have an option to put a um, you know, mix the silicone sealant with water so they will uh, cure faster, but I find that not necessary <laughs> and, uh, unless you are in a very dry country. Okay, so make sure the manex is not uh, blocking by the grills so that it can actually compress uh, easier and simply just uh, cover it up and then just screw it up and wait for it to dry. If you want to have a professional finish, uh, you can use the silicon sealant to seal up the, the pedals. Uh, don't worry, the silicon sealant is not permanent. You can always use a pen knife to to uh, cut it off the pedals if you do not want it to be there anymore. All right, so now I'm actually uh, screwing up with one hand. Hopefully I can do it. <laughs> okay, and uh, the screw you need to be uh, half an inch uh, long, not the original screw. This is half an inch long so that it, it, it have a little gap for you to press down once it's uh, uh, fully screwed in. You still have a little bit of gap. Yeah, you can just press in, you can see this a uh, dried silicone, you can just press in, it's just like a little bit of a cushioning effect. Uh, this silicone sealant will last way longer than previously I used the inner tube. The inner tube is uh, uh, not going to last a very long time, but this silicone sealant will definitely last a long, long time. Make sure you can compress it so it feels very cushiony. Okay. Okay, the... The inner part of this uh, pedals, right, try not to be too thick because it will be harder to close once, uh, you know, you, this part will hit this part and the magnet will not touch. So try the inner part, try not to be too thick and the outer part, you can as thick as you want and the magnet will continue to function uh, for the magnetic pedals uh, modification will still work and you have a little bit of cushion suspension uh, while you ride and which is very very comfortable right so basically that's it for this uh, little update on my king song 16s uh, cushion suspension diy thank you very much for watching see you on the next day see ya bye bye